everyone. God bless you as we start a new work week, actually Thanksgiving week, and I hope and pray that uh, you will have a wonderful Thanksgiving with your family or however you're going to celebrate. Uh, as we start this week, I kind of wanted to make kind of a heartfelt uh, scripture today for you from your pastor. And uh, it's actually Paul's writings to the Church of Colossae, and he writes in uh, chapter 1, verses 9 through 11, he says, For this reason, since the day we heard about you, we have not stopped praying for you. You know, that's one of those things that I believe as we begin to have this heartfelt desire to see God's will in in our friends and our family's uh, life uh, for as a pastor one of my greatest thrills in life as a pastor is uh, to see people of God fulfill their purpose and they connect and they find that as well as their personal relationship with God so so know that Penny and I are always praying for you and your families he goes we continue to ask we continually ask God to fill you with the knowledge of his will through all the wisdom and understanding that the Spirit gives so that you may live a life worthy of the Lord and please Him in every way. Uh, you know, what more could a pastor pray for his people than to have them come to an understanding and, and have wisdom on their purpose in life as well as uh, them just connecting with God and growing with God in their faith and understanding how real God is in their life. You know, part of our role as a pastor is to help people come to the understanding of what God's word says, but also in application. Because uh, so often when we talk about application, oftentimes critics begin to talk about the rules of the do's and don'ts, and that's so far from it, isn't it? It's about a relationship with God and knowing that God uh, has purpose in our lives and and the way that we make him not just Savior, but Lord, is to be obedient to those principles in our life. But we do it willingly because we come to understand that's the truth of God's uh, word for our personal lives on this earth. And he goes on to say, bearing fruit in every good work. You know, again, as a pastor praying for his people to be able to, to see uh, his people uh, bear good fruit in their life, again, is a great, great, uh, um, how would I say, uh, fulfillment in the life of a pastor's heart, because part of his role is to help people grow in their faith to the place where it begins to produce fruit. And ultimately, it's not the responsibility of me as your pastor, but also, uh, but for you to, to gain truth through the teaching and preaching and and counsel and all the things that we do as pastors, but to see you take that and apply it to your life and grow in your life, and it produces fruit, not just for your own life, but remember, you were created to be blessed by God, but so that you could be a blessing to someone else. So as you begin to produce that good fruit in your life, it's going to feed other people and in their life. Amen. And so he goes on to say that, um, Growing in the knowledge of God, being strengthened with all power according to his glorious might, so that you may have great endurance and patience. You know, again, it's one of those things that as you begin to produce that fruit, as you begin to fulfill that purpose in your life, uh, and you walk this walk of faith, that you're going to find that he's going to press you, and he's going to shake you, and he's going to... Uh, build that faith so that you can endure the difficult times and to be patient. Uh, we all know that most people in life is, are not patient. I'd be the first to say I'm not the most patient person on the face of the earth. But to know that as we grow in our faith, there will be moments of trials and difficulties and circumstances that we don't quite understand why or we don't even enjoy it, but we know that uh, you know, that, that, that perseverance of our faith gets us to a place of being patient because we recognize, as we talked about actually yesterday in service, that God has a purpose in our life and in the tragedies and in the difficulties. And so 
be encouraged today. As you start your work week, be encouraged and know that your pastors are praying for you, that we want to see great and wonderful things out of your life. And we pray that you would connect with God and allow God to connect with you and speak into your life. And not only for your life, but for your family, for your kids, uh, that they would see the greatest example of what it means to be Christ-like. Because ultimately, you're the greatest teachers on the face of this earth. It's beyond your pastor because the, your children live with you day in and day out and how we handle things. So we never as parents should ever minimize our role as teachers and never put it upon someone else. Yes, God created the church and he has uh, apostles and teachers and, and, and all the fivefold ministry of the church to, to enhance and help us. But ultimately your personal walk with God will be the greatest teacher that your children will see. And so as you start this Thanksgiving week, uh, work week, uh, I pray that just be reminded today that your pastors love you. Your pastors are praying for you. Your pastors want to see the very best in you. Why? Because we know God wants his very best in your life. And that's why one of the reasons we can be so thankful because God remains faithful. He's still God, right? He's still God, despite the good times and the bad times. When you look at history, there have been moments where the church flourished. And then there was moments in history where the church was extremely persecuted. And it's this cylindrical cycle. And, and yet, whether in good times or difficult times, we're going to praise him and thank him because of his faithfulness, because he remains the same. Amen. So be encouraged today as you start your work week. I pray God's richest blessing upon you and your family as we begin this Thanksgiving work week. Let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you and I praise you today. I thank you today, Lord God, as we can start this day, believing and trusting in you, Lord God, that you have all things in control. All things are in your power, Lord God. And Father, we know that there is always going to be a stretching of our faith, Lord God. But Lord, it is to produce something greater than what we are now. And Lord, I pray that each one of us today will take an evaluation of recognizing how much of God have we allowed, how much of your presence have we allowed to penetrate our lives, Lord God. Father, because we have this fallen nature within each one of us, Lord God, we tend to be selfish and self-focused, Lord God. And sometimes, Lord, we can even miss the mark, believing it is your will, and in reality, it's still what we want. And so, Father, I just pray right now that you would give us all a discerning ear, uh, a discerning heart, of what your greater uh, uh, will and purpose is for our lives, Father. And then you would give us the abilities to fulfill that. Lord, we know that you would never ask us to do anything that we could not fulfill, Lord God, with your help. Because we know in our weakness we are made strong. Because our dependency is not on ourself. It is not on our human nature. But our dependency upon is upon our God that has created us. And a Savior that has saved us. Lord God, and a Spirit that dwells inside us to, to make us bold and strong and to be able to discern truth from falsehood, Lord God. Father, we thank you as we begin this week of Thanksgiving, Lord, that each and every day, Lord, we'll take a moment out and just thank you for who you are and what you're doing in our lives and in the, in the, in the life of this world. For we know soon and very soon the trumpet of the Lord's going to sound and we will be with you forever and ever. And Lord, we're so careful to praise you for it. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen. God bless you. Have a great uh, day today. May God give you travel and mercies wherever you go. Stay healthy. Do what you need to do uh, to, to keep yourself nice and healthy during these uncertain times. Amen. Amen. Love you. Have a great day. And I'll see you tomorrow morning on 714 Prayer. Take care.